Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy Stewie Gamer here, and we are back with some more MLB The Show 21. But before we get started, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, ring that bell so you get notified whenever I upload new videos, which is multiple times every single day. And leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And let's get into it. Getting set for uh, evening baseball from the big this is our uh, Stadium of first Tonight game that we get to play. Um, so far, our team is one and three, but it's the first time we've got to play. So game number five. Let's see if we can start the season outright. Let's see if we can get us another win here. Andrew Heaney gets the call for game one of the Heaney. Series. What do we need to know here, Danny? We're looking at a pretty good pitcher right now. 156 strikeouts. Under 3.5 cool, cool. last season. David Fletcher, he'll lead things off here in the and bottom half of the first. Angels, the second baseman. David Fletcher. Here's the pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. Well, boys, we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight. They come into this one in good spirits, fresh off their first victory of the new campaign last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three, haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. Hey, great job by the offense right here to put a number up on the board and allow this young gun to go Hell on yeah. the mound relax a little bit and establish that good fastball so the breaking ball locked him up there david fletcher sent packing to start out the bottom of the first at the plate luis avilas as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one Are empty, one man Something I want to do better. Let's go around. Oh, since we came up to the majors, Swinging strike and now um, especially before spring training, I can't remember much about spring training, even though we just finished it. Yeah, but uh, I know once we got on to, into the majors, um, I've done some strikeouts. I know I have, I think, one game where I got like 10 um, Ks in a game. But a lot of them were very low. Um, I know in like double A and triple A, I was getting like 13, 14, 15 Ks um, every game. So I'll have to start kind of getting that. Um, I like getting these pot flies and stuff, especially if it comes early on in the count. I ain't got to worry about uh, having to throw so many fucking balls and stuff. Keeps my pitch count down. But I like the feeling of fucking actually throwing a strike out. So that's something I hope I can get a little bit better with. And a good heater as he just watches this baby a ball and a strike. What a well-executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to Ball, go what? the other way, and you have to be Fuck you, dude. Out over that thing. Now the 2-1 pitch is a swinging strike. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up, just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And he fouls this one off. Yeah. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Three. Right down Main Street. Hell yeah. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Second inning upcoming from the Big A. Colorado's out in front, two to nothing. Last half of the second and set to go, and standing in is the DH, Jared Walsh. Hey, Maddie, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can. And I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but we're just pitching this game. We're not hitting any. Hey, when so. you're featuring a mid 90s fastball, there's that. 
attack with that pitch. Get ahead. See Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the offense right, right. later in the game. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. My. All right. Steer. The next 0 2. Locks him up for Hell yeah. three. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. The first baseman. As with one away, he can't make Choi. contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. One out, nobody on. And he falls behind 0 and It's 2. so odd to me to see my guy wearing a number four. Fucking all the time wearing number three. And then having to fucking go to six whenever I went up to the majors. I mean, even the six seemed all right. Um, you know, it didn't look weird just because I know my 2K game um, series I've been doing. My guy's having to wear a six because there's another three. So I'm kind of used to seeing that, but four. A lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff. but he certainly looked ready for a It just looks odd. Might. Come on, Field throw it. Cleanly, and there we go. Two. Up next, Danny Santana. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Fouled away. Fouled off. All right. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. That's Tried ball. to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. It's one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside. I'm hoping he'd fucking swing at one of these. Flip a coin right here with this next pitch. After throwing two fastballs to get ahead. He's been able to lay off both those off-speed pitches. Looks like he's seeing it pretty good. All right, let's do another fastball then. Up and in. Popped him up. All right. Hampson is under this one. And that's it out. This one away. The side is retired. Hell yeah. Angels are gone in order. They're still down. Bottom of the third now, and digging in is the outfielder, Ken Anderley. Now here's the first offering. The offense better get it going right here, because they certainly can tell from their dugout, this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's right. got feel for all his pitches. Well, that one would have been close enough that they would have fucking swung at it at least. the 2-0 pitch. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. And we attack the no top of the zone one more time have to get going and get a little bit for a foul or a strike, and then to two and two now. go low with a fucking curveball. Set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just nah. a little under that one. Hell yeah, swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first four. You know what was really impressive for number four. He fell behind 2 0 to start the at bat. That's a pretty uh, bad see play. See her. He kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Four strikeouts at the starting lineup for the beginning of fucking third. Last night's game. Isn't too bad. Behind 0 and 2 now. Let's see if I can get to double digits this game. Or at least close. And another foul ball. Maybe. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom That's of the five. order providing little resistance here. Hell yeah. There are two away. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game. And I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strike out there. And I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. Here now is Mike Zanino. The catcher. As he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there. It's strike one. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. But this guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. Struck him out. There we so go. He makes quick work of him here. Three yeah. straight strikeouts, and his side is retired. That's what six. Go down one, two, three. They trail things Hell yeah. here, two to nothing. Into the box, David Fletcher. First time bottom of the fourth. Looking. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early. In All right, somebody catch it. Easy fly ball into shallow center. Field. Oh, he'll get it into second. The tag and oh, yeah. is out at second. I was say it was gonna be our first hit, but fuck it. He's out. So I don't think that counts as a hit, does it? Even though he made it to first base. As with one away, he won't catch up with the fastball, and it's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Oof, and it's safe to say he doesn't look all that comfortable up there. 0-2 now. Hell yeah. Looks silly with that one. Grounded to short. Baez has it. Oh. Hell yeah. was a high one, but he's able to keep a foot tethered on the bag, and that becomes out number two. Hell yeah. Two gone now for the Angels in the fourth, and the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And no trouble for him as Hell he yeah. makes the catch to end the inning. Angels are gone in order. They're down two to nothing. Yeah, that count as a hit. All right. Now to bat, Jared Walsh. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Matty, I'd like to see them change up their offensive approach a little bit right now. Maybe get a little bit more aggressive in the strike zone. I just feel like this pitcher is settling into a rhythm, and they're going to hand it over to the bullpen eventually, and this game's going to be over. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right Ooh. here. Hit sharply on the set us. And that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. So only the second right. hit he's given up tonight. Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. Into the box, G-Man Choi. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Fly ball out toward right field. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Next to stand in is Danny Santana. He flew out in his last A.B. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. And he misses with it one and one. Well, these guys haven't had too many opportunities yet to test the running game in this one, so they could decide to put a man in motion right here. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wide Oh, man. 
thought he might have fucking had that. And the slider gets him swinging. Oh, yeah. There we go. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage. Let's keep him from scoring here. Let's strikes. And right now we're seeing another struck out. And a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Ken Anderley will stand in for the second time as he watches one miss low. It's a ball and no strikes. And a fastball in there for a strike. One and one. Walsh at second with two down. And he fouls this one off. No. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fat. Oh, look at the sliding stop <laughs> in time. Hell yeah. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented that was nice. from having a chance to score. Angels strand one. They're still down. It's 2-0. And that'll bring up Jorge Bonifacio. He'll start the right, we'll score again. For a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this Jorge. one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, we might have something. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, sped him up, slowed him down. Got him down 0-2. I think he could pretty much go anywhere right here. I'd be surprised if anything misses over the heart of the plate. Again, he sends it out of play. Now another 0-2. Huh? Let's do a sinker here. He fouls this off. And I'm just going to do a fast pitch next. Right down the center. Hey, have an AB right here. I know it's frustrating the heck off speed of the stuff. You keep these pitches off. Maybe one misses ah, man. I was hoping he'd fucking wait and swing too late or some shit. Alright. He's out regardless. So that's good. Play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. All right. To another high and end fastball. Still low and out. Curve. Oh. Two no balls and two strikes. One down. Ready with another 0 2. And he struck him <laughs> out. Good pitch there Hell as yeah. he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you could do with that. Textbook sinker. Now that at the plate now, David Fletcher. Yes, he pops the first pitch. Oh, we got eight strikeouts. For two in this one. Get two more, and we got double digits. Sinker, one ball, one strike. So we got decent energy, I guess. They might keep us in for a little bit. Be nice if they let us stay in the whole game. The way. Try to rack up those K's a little bit more. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now a fastball, awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Man, all I right. Saw a fastball right there. Fuck I would it. not be Curveball. shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. Count full. Three balls and two strikes. Three-two pitch. Change up. Had to wait back on the change up, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another full count pitch home. Chopper to short. Baez fields it cleanly. Throw in time and the side yeah. is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We're through six full. It's the Rockies three and the Angels nothing.
And now here is Luis Aviles. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Yeah, and it's usually demoralizing, Matty, when the top of the order, so-called best hitters, are shut down. But you know what? We can't expect them to carry us every single day. Somebody in the southern part of this order has got to step up and get this offense rolling. Throw in time at first. Uh. A nice play in short right for the first down. Good range showing off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that Number way eight. sometimes. Number six. Anthony Rendon comes on with one gun here as he looks at a called strike one. This is why the manager pencils these guys in, in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple Come on, of dude. ABs. Catch that shit. One, one the count. And now pitch on the way. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool the guy. It's one and two. That's been a great pitch for him all night. Able to push and pull the throttle a little bit. Throwing a good fastball located and mixing in that nasty changeup with good arm action. Still one and two. No. Trying to send him packing for the second time fouled away that's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily oh, and he can only battle for so long oh, yeah. he's finally set down here after an eight pitch nine K's when you're this deep into a start it can be really exhausting and annoying when a hitter makes you work as hard as he did right there. He got the strikeout. That's great, but he's probably thinking, get that guy out of here. Now so now to the plate, Jared Walsh. Jared. Smoked on the ground up the middle. There's Baez throwing the dirt, but a good no, scoop. There we go. First saves an error as this side is retired. Angels go down one, two, three. Still down three, nothing. Rod Hennessy will yeah, come they on pulled out me. Of he'll be appearing in this All right, we got nine Ks. Didn't get the double digits, but we got nine. Pretty close. Yeah, and there we have it. We won. That's good. That's right something else. Squad, Doesn't fucking matter how much I'm up or where up when they pull me. I'm like, eh. <laughs> There's been a lot of times our guys have flopped. Coming in and replacing us. Jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Five nothing. Derek All right. Stewart earns his first win of the season. As Hell yeah. Seven innings with only two hits allowed. All right. And that's going to be it for our first playable game of this new season. Um, and we won, so that's good. But yeah, like I said, that's going to be it. Hope you all enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get notified when we upload new videos, which is multiple times every single day. And leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Till next time, peace out, Ioli. Everybody love everybody.